All right, so when it's warm, Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo plays host to hundreds of thousands of visitors. When it's cold, traffic tends to cool off just a little bit. But the animals are still there. So are instructors and interactive classrooms. It's called Learning is Our Nature, or Lion for short. I'm excited about this one. Here today, Mandy Krebs, good to see you. Nice good to see you again. Nice Thank you. got a couple you. things in that big <laughs> Tupperware thing. Uh, what, do you, what do you got there? <laughs> this is a prairie dog. <laughs> uh -huh. And 200 years ago, we would have seen these guys around our state a lot. Yeah. They used to number in the millions in this, no in this area. Mm -hmm. And now we really don't see them hardly at all, unless you're at the zoo where we've got um, a few on exhibit and we've got a few um, and you're going to climb out. Well, they're very sure, absolutely absolutely here, going can to. I hold that one and you want to you get her before she now, they, takes they, a spin? Here, she's pretty snap, friendly. You know, anything can bite. I cannot guarantee I you guys anything. Say that. Um, but these guys are, have been hand raised at the zoo and they're very friendly. They're and the good. thing about prairie dogs is that they're social. These guys uh -huh. live in family groups and so it's important for them to have that bonding yeah. experience and people are one of those experiences in, at the zoo that these guys are very familiar with. So. <laughs> they so, have so much personality the way they move. Are they, they're are they unique inquisitive. for rodents as rodents come? I mean, are, are they a little bit more unique than other rodents? Well, let's see a move. You know, these guys are very vocal compared to other um, rodents that you might be thinking of. So they have a lot. Here, there's some corn. No, no, how about some What's almond? What's he doing over there? So these guys They're have a kidding. lot of different um, vocalizations that you'll hear, and a lot of those are greetings. So they'll often, as they greet their um, family members, mm -hmm. they yes, will yes. stand on their hind legs, legs yeah. and make a reek, reek, kind of a sound. And, and they, they know that it's their relative. That's right. So they can recognize each other through you know, facial features as well as through smells and through the vocalizations oh, that they're going to make. There we go. So you're, doing you're great. eating an almond. What's the typical diet for a prairie dog? In the wild, <laughs> prairie dogs are going to eat a lot of tubers, so underground roots, mm -hmm. um, plant parts, seeds, as well as some insects occasionally. Yeah. And he's having, or she's having an almond, to town which is a almond. big favorite. Do people um, ever try to try to make them as pets? I mean, I know you don't recommend that for most animals that you'd have at the zoo, but. Yeah, uh, you know, they are, they used to be pretty common in the pet trade, and then um, a monkeypox plague went through and kind of put the kibosh on that. Oh, wow. They're really difficult to keep long term, and they have a lot of special requirements that mm -hmm. is difficult to difficult to have in your or to to meet in your own home. Cool. Prairie dogs are burrowers, so they love to live um, in a con you know a, a tight space, yeah. and they how love they to get, dig many, through dirt and. Prairie dogs, can they get in one of those little tunnels? Well, it depends on the like size of the tunnel. She's trying to find a tunnel over but here. But families, you know, fall. are going to live in groups of, you know, 20 to up to 300. It's, it's, they, they can make a big giant group of each other. Um, we have some things to talk about, not just prairie we dogs. Do. And we, we mentioned lion classes off the top. Yes. So what will kids learn? It depends on the topic. Uh -huh. So lions, uh, our learning is our nature, is from our education department, and we offer classes from age groups from three to 12 years old. And this month, our topics are snow leopards and polar bear express. Uh -huh. So that's going to be the focus for January, and it's going to be really fun. The kids are going to get to go to the exhibit, see the animals, learn about what makes snow leopards special, learn about polar bears in the wild, and some of the, the issues concerning their environment and, and why they're in danger. Enroll online, or how, how do they enroll? Yep, you can enroll online. online. You can call our educa education department at 738 Just more food. This guy's. Is he? Run, did me she for run food. out? Yeah. She went through a corn cob come piece here. over here. Um, here, come Here's here, baby. Nut. Oh boy. Here, Look, Mike. Here's another you? almond. <laughs> um, you're also. Kids oh can also boy. take a special adventure. She's getting wrapped come, up. Come May. Yeah, for a little <laughs> bit. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, don't um, hold. Um, but we're talking about we it. In, we're talking we about it in January because the deadline is coming up. That hard. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. yeah. <laughs> That's right. So um, at the end of May, beginning of June, we have um, a really neat. Uh, activity for the older kids. So ninth grade and older, we're actually taking a group of kids to Costa Rica. But and you're taking them to, we not are just taking, virtually. We are going to the country, the country. of Costa Rica. Right. Right. Like right. On a plane and, and on all a plane, that stuff. You're going to be in Costa Rica, uh -huh. in the rainforest, on the Caribbean coast, where sea turtles come, you know, sea turtles spend most of their lives out in the ocean, but when they come and lay their eggs, they go to the beach that they were hatched on and do and lay their eggs in there. So we are going to be helping some biologists search for uh, search for nesting sites mm -hmm. and search for watch for leatherback turtles. Uh oh, uh -oh. There uh -oh. we go. Whoa. She finally it's did it. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, girls, you She's been trying it's your all morning. Turn, isn't it? <laughs> but um, on that program, uh, people can still sign up, and deposits are yes, due pretty can. quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're right. About 31st. Today. That's right. That's and then right. IMAX. Anything cool playing? Um, there? We've got three movies playing right now mm -hmm. Rocky Mountain Express which is about trains in Canada. It's really interesting. Uh -huh. uh, Penguins 3D, which is, of course, amazing, yeah. and Kenya 3D Animal Kingdom. Nice. It's all online if you want to search what's happening now, what's coming up. Uh, you're welcome you to go. do so. And then, of course, the zoo right Ooh. off the interstate on South 10th Street. If you have any questions, we wanted to break it down so that you had a phone number for each of the things that we were talking about today. And again, the website, it's omahazoo.com. Thank you, Mandy. Thanks You're welcome. Thanks for, you. Thanks, for us. thanks for bringing the girls. Those little critters. Yeah, yeah. We're happy to be here. Yeah, I'm glad they survived. No thanks to Mike <laughs> over here with that leash. I wasn't yanking it too hard. I gotta feel bad now. Come She's here. a little Houdini. She no, can just she wants right out of you. Like most women. Nothing to do with you. Coffee from Paris.